Hello everyone, I found a trick with using different console commands that makes silica pearls and metal nodes a hundred times easier to find, and I used it to craft an amazing silica pearl farming route that can get you a slot cap of pearls on official servers in less than 10 minutes, so let me show you both of those. You may have seen these console commands used in one or like a million different YouTube videos showing you how to increase your FPS on a gaming laptop from 2015, but we're not using these for FPS increases. We're using them so we can actually see the nodes we want to farm behind all this gobbledygook of plants and other graphical garbage that they added to this game. You can find all these commands in the description of my video. Also, if you go to Settings, Advanced, and then turn on Console Access, there will be a new menu on the bottom left of your pause screen where it will save some of your commands so you don't have to type them in every time. So the first commands are r.volumetricfog0 and r.volumetriccloud0. And it's pretty great that we can actually see more than five inches in front of us now. Next is grass.enable0, which will clean all the plastic off the ocean floor. Then r.shadowquality0, so the shadow people can't get us while we farm our resources. Then lastly, and the most importantly, is r.materialquality level 2. So you can see we actually kind of hid all the nodes here with this one, but that's because there's one more step. I really have no idea why, but it seems if you go 1,000 to 1,500 meters away from an entire resource type, then it'll show up in color on this material quality level 2 filter. Or it has to do with being away from the different biomes like the mountains or the ocean. I don't know. It's just a theory. A game theory. So don't crucify me if I'm wrong. But regardless, this step makes it so metal nodes and silica pearls will be colorful against a gray untextured background. So you definitely want to try this out. If you just turn on this filter and run around the map, it should make it so all the resource nodes, besides trees and normal rocks, fill in with color. But that takes a while to go around the map. And specifically, you want to go from like the middle of the map to the oceans seems to work best. But if you want the fastest way to turn on color for either metal or pearl nodes, listen closely to this. Okay, so you're going to need two sets of beds. One set of beds should be very close to a mountain metal spawn preferably Redwoods, Volcano, or Metal Mountain, since they're very far away from the ocean. And then the other set of beds should be on a shore, on a raft, or in a vacuum compartment at the ocean. And this should be in the southwest of the map, since it's far away from metal spawns. So let's say you want to farm metal first. You'll fast travel to an ocean bed, and make sure R dot material quality level 3 is on, and if you just logged in, it will be on because this is the default normal setting of the game. But if you had level 2 on from trying this earlier, or you lagged out or something, if you log back in on level 2, it's going to be buggy. So just make sure you log out on level 3. And then log back in. And then turn on our dot material quality level 2. And make sure you render in the ocean. And then either die or fast travel. I usually just swim out into the ocean until I die to something. Drowning. Megalodon. Pelagornis. Just anything. And then go ahead and spawn back in on your metal bed, and you should see colorful metal nodes. And if you spawn back in on your pearl bed, it may or may not be in color, but if you just go about your business by fast traveling to your base after you spawned in on your metal bed, and then just go on your metal run, then when you eventually go back into the ocean from out of render, then the pearl nodes should be in color also. So this will last you until you log out. And you can switch between level 2 and level 3 as you please in the meantime, and the nodes will still stay colored. You won't have to redo all this unless you do log out. So yeah, getting the nodes to be colored can be a little finicky. And I didn't come up with the bed method in official, so I'm not sure if that works. But I am 100% sure you can get the nodes to be colored on official, because I ran all the way to a metal node on Metal Mountain from the shore. And then I respawned back on the shore and could see that the usually gray seaweed in the water was now green, which means the silica pearls were definitely visible also. So I used this filter to find a good silica pearl farming route up the west coast because that's the only place where there's actually a good amount of silica pearls. And I spawned in a perfect tame 150 angler and put 50 levels into melee. And I was able to slot cap in under 10 minutes. And I still had a couple stops left on the route. So you don't need to turn on all the filters since I'm showing you here where all the pearls are, but I do think it would make it go much faster if you did, so you don't miss out on the pearls or spend too long looking for the stray ones. And this is really the only place on the island map where there is a condensed amount of pearls. If you look at the resource maps that are out now for the game, it looks like a lot of the map has a bunch of silica pearls on it, but some of those spawns are pearl caves, which you can't farm with an angler, 
and the rest are just very scattered around. If you do want to farm those though, the filter is a godsend and I it is absolutely worth the extra 60 seconds to turn on. So all the coordinates for this pearl farming route in the video are from going south to north. But if you would rather run it from north to south, I put coordinates in the description. That should make it easier than trying to follow this video backwards. So after the pearl route's finished, I'll be throwing clips of me flying around the good metal spawns with this filter on in case they nerf it. So we can at least get an idea of where all the metal nodes are in the future. And I was surprised at how many there were, honestly, on this map. And also, if you haven't seen my video on how much Anki damage you need to squeeze all the metal you can out of a metal node, you should watch that at the top of the description. So I think that's all the informational stuff I have to say. So any extra time in this video, I'll probably just talk about my channel to the few who care. Okay, so I have a lot of time to fill up still in this video if I feel like talking through the entire thing while the video plays. Um, so honestly, I just want to say thank you, first of all, for all the views on these recent videos. I've decided to kind of commit to this YouTube thing recently. So getting just really good reception right off the rip with ARC has been really comforting, actually. I know views are obviously inflated because ARC just came out. And it'll go down over time, come and go, as the, the new maps release, which should be often, so hopefully that helps. But I was doing Warframe videos before this. If you look back on my channel, I probably won't ever private those, delete those, because I am pretty happy with them. They were just kind of like the my come up, like just trying to figure out how to make videos. And I've just been doing tutorial content this whole time, and I, pro I always will, for sure. I do like explaining things, and I think I have... A good way of doing it and I like explaining things uh, like in an efficient manner because I hate I hate when people just drag on for years and just say the same thing over and over so please call me out if I ever do that I would really appreciate that uh, not right now because I'm just trying to fill up video time no nah, I'm joking I did want to talk to everyone that cares and has subscribed to me recently but I wish I had more videos out already but the my computer's been having so many problems i don't even know i just i changed out my gpu my power supply and then it just started doing whack stuff and then it started blue screening all the time and it eventually came to me testing ram for like an entire day and none of it made sense i kept getting errors i was using i was using memtest 86 and I was just getting tons of errors on everything and some things worked on different slots and then I tested all four bars of RAM at the same time again, it took four and a half hours, and there was zero errors, I was so happy, and then my computer wouldn't boot at all. I could go into BIOS, like, sometimes, but then it just wouldn't, I couldn't get to my desktop for more than three seconds without a blue screening. So I just took out two bars of RAM and left in my two and four slot, and that started working. It just works perfect now. So I ordered... Uh, some 16 gigabit RAM because I had uh, 8 gigabit uh, and it's like really really low megahertz also which I think might be uh, what's it called bottlenecking my graphics card which is not normal but I really think it's that shitty of RAM so I'm hoping that this RAM that I ordered that I am going to put in probably the same day no I'm going to put it the day before this video goes up so hopefully that fixes it so with art coming out on Steam. That was kind of not in my plans. I am a Xbox player and I usually play on Windows 10 on my PC and that's where all my tribe is. So that was gonna be the plan. But honestly, with it coming out on single player, I was like, I'm just gonna make content anyway on single player so it doesn't really bother me uh, and just test things, which I wish I had an official server to like test on there and see if it works, but I will on the 14th, hopefully. Uh, because that's when it's coming out on Xbox. So when that comes out, I will definitely be posting some videos of my official server. Uh, definitely in my like in my actual tutorial content, it'll be there to show that it does work and that also because I want to and that I want to guarantee that stuff like that it works, but I just can't right now. And then also just in my, I guess, PvP activities, I'll be showing those and having little cuts of that. Definitely not any long-form content, but I do plan on streaming, just because, like I said, I'm committing to this 
YouTube internet thing. So that's just kind of part of it. So I'll be streaming on Twitch and YouTube uh, in a week, assuming that they actually release the game on time. So probably not. I'll probably be in like two weeks. All right. I don't think I have anything more to say. So subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any of my informational content. Like the video if you like this and my channel. And comment if you have any questions ever. And just if you have anything to say. A lot of negative comments on ARC, honestly. But I don't really care. Just ignore those. So it's cool. All right. See ya.